Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today Yes, I'm finally talking more about after we collided I know that I've been slacking like I know that I haven't been on top of my after updating game And I apologize for that. I really really do However, it's been really hard for me to keep track of like what I've talked about what I haven't talked about And I also kind of went through like a wasn't posting video stage, which was like when they were filming So I apologize for that. I really wanted to be like there for you guys um, during this time But basically I just wasn't killing the game with the after updates and so today I wanted to make a video where we could talk about the movie but I didn't really want to just like sit here and talk about things that have happened like oh they posted this picture or like this because like I'm sure for the most part you guys have already seen like pictures and things that have been posted so I just kind of wanted to talk in general with you guys have a little chat so I asked you guys to ask me on my Twitter and Instagram at lovelylikelara things you want me to talk about, questions you may have for me, and so that's what we're doing today. So basically, I'm just going to look, you guys are going to guide the conversation, and we're just going to talk about the movie a little bit, and yeah, because I know you guys just miss, like, literally hearing me talk about the movie. It doesn't even have to be anything specific, according to you guys. So just having a little chat about after we collided. Um, they did finish filming, which is exciting, so hoping for the teaser trailer sometime this year. Um, keeping my eye peeled for that, but... Who knows when it's gonna come out I have no idea so let's see what you guys are asking on my Twitter a lot of you guys are just kind of asking what my expectations are in regards to like compared to the first movie and truly I have a good feeling about after we collided I do think that the first movie it wasn't its full-blown potential however I just feel like for this second movie we have a lot of people working on it that truly care about keeping it similar to the book keeping it you know in that realm of like afterness if you guys know what I mean and I think Roger the director has a lot to do with that and I think that he's really trying to keep the essence of the book alive which I really appreciate so I do think because of him we're hopefully going to be getting a more accurate representation of not only the characters but of the plot and the story so I'm really hoping for more of that um I'm really excited nonetheless I think that it'll be a good movie and I'm excited to see how it all comes together and what kinds of things um, are staying and going and new things because I just think in general it's hard like the book is huge <laughs> um, so I don't think it can be a hundred percent accurate regardless of if we have people working on the movie that care about it being accurate it's just not possible to have an exact replica of the book on screen and I understand that however like with the first book you could say that too but I do think they could have done a better job at keeping the accuracy and keeping it more true to the characters so I hope that we're getting that kind of change the only thing I'm kind of apprehensive of is that they're gonna make it a little bit too different than the first movie so I just don't know how I feel about that um, but I'm excited to see regardless like I'm just excited for anything um, as I was for the first one just any kind of content with Hero and Joe as Harden and Tessa I'm just like I'm here for it so I don't really have too much of an opinion nor am I holding too much over this movie I'm kind of like I'm just gonna see it and it's gonna be what it is like I feel like I hyped up the first movie way too much that I ended up being disappointed and so I don't want to be disappointed for this movie so I'm just kind of like going at it with an open mind like whatever it is is what it is and hopefully that'll make for a better movie watching experience so yeah that was a tangent and a half oh my god so <laughs> yeah that's kind of my expectations surrounding the second movie a lot of people want me to address kind of the character changes that we've already seen happen happening a little bit behind the scenes and I think what people mean by that is the whole aspect of like Trevor becoming more of a focal point and a more main character compared to the rest of the cast um, because obviously if you guys have been paying attention with filming when all of that was going on um, Anana, Khadija, Samuel, all those people that are kind of background characters weren't there for a lot of days filming I think they were only there for one or two days so we can probably assume that they're not in that many scenes um, however Dylan Sprouse was there for quite a lot of time and I'm pretty sure a producer said that he was kind of gonna be like the main love triangle love interest instead of Zed so that aspect we can already kind of be like okay so that's going to be different which I mean compared to the first movie where Zed was just nothing I think that's probably the smarter route to go um, especially because I think personally they're gonna have a better go with Dylan Sprouse being like the main person in the movie compared to like Samuel Larson just saying I personally you guys know um, I love Dylan Sprouse he's just like my favorite um, person so I'm really excited to see him kind of become that 
that corner to the love triangle um, of Hessa. So I don't know. I'm interested to see how it plays out because obviously it's going to have to be a lot different than the book in that aspect. But I'm excited because I'm just excited to see Dylan in the movie, so I don't really care. Um, but I can see why some people might be disappointed by that aspect, as well as everything going on with like Steph and Molly. I feel like they're not going to be in the movie that much at all. So I'm interested to see like what's up with that because hearing those kinds of things is like what makes me nervous because I'm like if they're not going to be in the movie how is it going to be accurate like they must just be focusing on like the romantic aspects of like Hardin and Tessa and not talking about a lot of the background noise so I don't know I think we can expect to see a lot of stuff with their relationship and I don't know I'm excited but I'm scared <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna play out with all these different changes also people are asking me what kinds of scenes I'm excited to see um, and I'm hoping for a lot of good like Christmassy scenes with um, Hardin and Tessa and hopefully Trish because I love that in the book it's like one of my favorites um, also the nine days is like my favorite thing from after we collided I'm not sure if it's in the movie or not but hopefully some type of rendition of like them breaking up with some like dramatic thing going on on would be fun to see <laughs> only me would be like yeah like I think it'd be fun to see them break up um I would love that but I just think it's like very true to Hessa to like have issues and complications in their relationship so hopefully there's some type of like vibe with like a breakup and like something happening but other than that it's really hard to predict how the movie is going to play out just because of all of the changes we already know regarding characters and they obviously are going to be changing up a lot um, so I just like don't know what to even predict because I feel like I have nothing to work with But regardless, I'm excited to see what kinds of scenes we're gonna get how much of it's gonna be new How much of it is gonna be actually taken from the book? I have no idea So I'm interested to see a lot of people are surprisingly already asking me if I'm gonna be doing um, After a thon again next year, which I definitely will if you guys didn't participate this year I did um, a read-along where we read the book for two weeks and we did like fun games and stuff on this Twitter um, And I had guest hosts and it was really fun actually Actually, so hopefully I will have enough people that want to help me out with that again next year that we can do it again because it was super fun and I know you guys really liked it so I'll be doing something regardless like a readathon of sorts but hopefully it'll be like in the same vein as after a thon and after we collided a thon I don't know we'll see a lot of people are asking if I know when the movie's coming out and I think that Anna said it's gonna be like a similar release to this year so probably April 2020 is my guess or sometime like an early spring, late winter, I'm not sure. I have no idea regarding like different countries or anything like that, but probably for America, it's gonna be like early 2020, hopefully. Um, I would love to see it early 2020, but I don't know, we'll have to see. It depends on a bunch of stuff that I have no idea about, so yeah. Someone said, where do you think um, After We Collided will pick up? Do you think it'll be like where After left, which was like the scene of them at the lake? I'm not sure, it could be like time has passed, or it could be like right after. I'm not sure. I feel like the time has passed idea might be a little more appealing to them just because then they can like kind of start a little more different and fresh and like have a new kind of feel for the movie. Um, Cause I feel like if they started right after it would have to just continue on like the same streak of like the first movie, which I don't think is what they're doing, but I could be wrong. I have no idea. Honestly, it's just like, I have no idea. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know the time frame of it. Obviously, the book takes place around like Christmas time. The timeline of the first movie is really confusing to me. I'm not really sure where it ends. Um, I don't know if it's just supposed to be like the first like two months of school or something because that I guess would make sense. Um, so I have no idea. I think I'm just really excited for like the teasers and the trailer and all that kind of stuff to come out more promo pictures because as of right now, I just like I'm working on nothing, guys. I'm just like talking nonsense i feel like right now i don't even know if this video is like interesting to anybody um but i feel like when the trailers come out i'll be able to react to them and do like breakdowns of them and just a lot more interesting stuff that i'm sure you guys are looking forward to so unfortunately i think i'm gonna wrap up the video here just because i don't want to keep talking about nothing however if you did like this video let me know if you guys just like casual chats with me about after i know that's like what i'm known for so let me know in a comment down below but i hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless thank you guys so so much for watching make sure to follow me on my social medias at love like laura on instagram and on twitter i'm always talking about stuff on there and you can always chat with me about after any time of day so definitely follow me and also subscribe to my channel if you've not already um, but other than that thank you guys so so much for watching this video and i will talk to you very soon in the next one bye